Greetings, everyone. So I don't know if you heard about this. Um, I only found out about this today, hence I'm making a video about it, but you may have already seen this one in the news, but there was quite a shocking event that took place. Um, there was a funeral, and during that funeral, the priest who was giving out communion, he gave communion to a Muslim sheikh. And there's a video of that that you can watch if you haven't seen it, right here. So as you can see there, he's giving out communion and he gives the communion host to this uh, Muslim sheikh who then takes it away and appears to motion as if he's going to put it in his mouth and then he doesn't and he just walks off with it. Now, there are a few issues with that, obviously, that we can go into. Let's start by reading an article about it so we can get a little bit more information as to what happened, where it happened, etc. Get the kind of key facts. Because this was mentioned on the Catholic News Agency. Archbishop gives communion to Muslim Sheikh at funeral mass for Cardinal. So it was actually an archbishop even, not just a priest, but an archbishop. So we have here, the Archbishop of Londrina, Brazil, and apologies if I pronounce this wrong, Jeremias Steinmetz gave communion to a Muslim sheikh at the funeral mass for Cardinal Geraldo Mayela Agnello who died a few days ago at the age of 89. The incident sparked controversy among Catholics and the prelate posted an explanation for what happened on the Archdiocesan website. Some people on social media questioned how the Archbishop could give communion to a Muslim sheikh and criticized the prelate. So let's actually look into exactly what happened. The funeral mass was celebrated on August 28th in the Londrina Cathedral and the Archbishop gave the Eucharist to Sheikh Ahmad Saleh Mahayri of the Ray Faikal Mosque. Following the controversy, Steinmetz addressed the repercussions generated by the communion administered by me, he said to the Muslim leader. In the explanation posted on August 30th, the Brazilian Archbishop said the Sheikh I'd known Cardinal Agnello since the 1980s. And here's the quote. As a friend saddened by the funeral of another friend, the Sheikh is a well-known man in various spheres of society and maintains a respectful relationship with the Catholic Church. He was also a friend of another Archbishop of Londrina, the late Albano Cavallin, with whom he had a close relationship. As a friend, he participated in the Eucharist celebration and... Entering the communion line received the body of Christ, Steinmetz explained. The images of the broadcast of the Holy Mass show Sheikh Mahairi receiving the Eucharist from my hands, but they do not show him consuming it. Given the repercussions of these images, I asked the Vicar General of the Archdiocese of Londrina, Father Rafael Solano, to speak with the Sheikh to clear up the situation, the Archbishop continued. So, he basically is saying what we saw in the image. There's a few more facts there that we know about who this was, why he was attending. But he clearly says he gave him the communion host. That in itself is already a problem. I mean, he's clearly a Muslim sheikh. Why are you giving him the communion host? He's obviously not permitted to take one. You know, we've had all these debates and discussions as to whether so-and-so should go um, and present themselves for communion, or whether priests should be denying communion to certain, in this case it was politicians, knowing the things that they support. But this is just obvious, like, this is a sheikh, he's a Muslim, he doesn't believe in the divinity of Christ, you don't give him communion. He's obviously not a baptised Catholic. So it seems as if the Archbishop is essentially saying, okay, people saw me give the communion host to the sheikh, and then they saw him kind of walk off with it. So let's clear up that whole thing and explain what's happened here. It's like he's bothered by the fact that people saw him, saw the sheikh walk off with the communion host. That I'm sure they were, but they were also bothered by the fact that he even gave him the communion host. And I think saying that he was a friend of the, um, of the person who died is not much consolation. However, 
there have been, uh, well, I certainly saw one voice on YouTube who I'm not going to mention because I'm not a fan of this person, but they are quite prominent. They like to sensationalize anything they possibly can. And, and in this person's video, it's a he, he basically was saying, oh, look, this has happened. What happened to the host? Where's the host? Where did it go? What happened to it? Like he's trying to cause this drama. And actually, if he'd have maybe done a little bit more research and read a few things, he'd know what happened to the host because we actually have an explanation of what happened to the host in this article. So let's read on. Steinmetz then pointed out that the Sheikh deeply regretted what happened since his desire was not to disrespect the Catholic Church and told the vicar that after receiving Jesus, he went to his pew, sat down and consumed the Eucharist. So that is what happened to the communion host. It was consumed by the Sheikh. Still bad. I'm not saying that's good because he shouldn't have been given the host in the first place and he shouldn't have consumed it. But he didn't go off with it and do terrible things to it. He consumed it. At least he says he did, according to this. According to him, Archbishop Albano had explained to him many years ago that the Eucharist is the body of Jesus, considered a prophet for Islam. As noted in the Vatican II document, Nostra Aetate, in our time on the relationship of the church with non-Christian religions. And then there's more. I'll put a link to the article. You can read more about it. It basically goes into some other things. The Archbishop citing documents from Pope Francis and then about who can receive communion, etc. But the incident is obviously shocking. Um, the fact that an Archbishop can't tell that you're not supposed to give communion to somebody if they're clearly of another faith. I mean, you're not even meant to give communion to Christians if they're not Catholic. And yet this is clearly a Muslim sheikh and you're giving him communion. Um, there's so many things that could have gone wrong there. And obviously the video clip of the sheikh taking the communion and then walking off with it doesn't help because that looks really bad. It looks bad on two levels, basically, doesn't it? It looks bad because he's given it to him in the first place and then it looks bad because he's walking off with it. Now, the sheikh did later say he actually consumed it. So I don't know if that's even less bad. I, th I suppose it would be less bad than taking it somewhere and destroying it and profaning it um, because it probably wouldn't be the first time that someone who, in fact, we know it wouldn't be the first time that someone who shouldn't have taken communion took communion. There are probably plenty of people that go to communion that shouldn't be taking communion. Um, often just in ignorance. And you can at least say that the sheikh would have been ignorant to not knowing that he shouldn't be consuming this. To him, even though it was explained to him that this is the body of Christ, he doesn't see it that way. So he just saw it as, okay, he's been given this communion host that people believe is the body of Christ. He's gone in the line, he's got one himself, he'll consume it. It doesn't mean anything to him. And that's that. And it's not a problem as far as he's concerned. It is a problem as far as we're concerned, but he can plead ignorance to that. The Archbishop obviously cannot plead ignorance and it's outrageous. And to be honest, this explanation of, well, well, here's what happened. Uh, he's a friend of the person who died and he, he came to the service and, and he went in and got the communion host and people saw him walk off with it. But that's OK, because he did sit down and consume it later is not good enough. It really is not good enough. He doesn't address at all why he even gave him the communion host. I think most people would be expecting some kind of a yeah, I'm sorry, I really shouldn't have given him uh, that communion host. That was a mistake. He doesn't say that at all. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, folks, let me know what you think about this. If you haven't heard about this story already, or maybe you have, but you want to make a comment in the comments section. Certainly shocking that the Archbishop really doesn't seem to know that this is obviously wrong when surely most lay Catholics would even see it's glaringly wrong and obviously something you don't do um but yeah let me know what you think uh thanks for watching the video have a blessed day